Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a tour review on the Harbor Freight or Pittsburgh 20 ton shop press. Uh, make sure you're subscribed, you like the video. Hopefully, you'll enjoy it. So, I've had this thing now for about, um, it's all since 2014. Long time. And the uh, reason I'm waiting to do a review now is I want to get some serious use out of this thing and really put it through the test and then give an honest review on it. Uh, so far, I love it. Um, downside to it over age, um, I don't know if you really can tell, but uh, this side is kind of up higher than that side is. Um, this thing is kind of bent. I've had a lot of stress on this over the years. One of the things about it is um, that had gotten bent. I actually had this flipped upside down, and they give you these two pieces here with it. And you can kind of see how it's kind of twisted on there. Um, I had some pretty tough bearings. You almost can see that that's bent a little bit too. Uh, I had some tough bearings that wouldn't come out. And, uh, you know, I used every every one of those 20 tons to try and make it work. And I got to say, I mean, it's held up pretty good for the price. I paid 80 bucks for this thing back in the day when you could use a super coupon on the sale price already. So for the money, hands down worth the money. I will say that uh, it, you know, the coating on this is really good. I was not expecting the paint or powder coating, whatever they have on this thing to last this good, you know, this long. There's, there's really no rust on this thing at all anywhere, um, you know, except for a little bit like that, little surface rust there. And they give you the two bars here and um, basically you put the big bar in there and little bars got this little little notch right there and that just goes in like that and then you got an extended bar so that's how that works two springs you know um, overall it's just not a bad bad thing at all I, I, I've used Sonic's ones and the other ones that are more expensive, and quite frankly, I like this one better. It's not huge, but uh, 40,000 pound capacity, 20 tons. And uh, I will say, though, it is kind of a pain in the ass to constantly have to adjust um, the height of this thing up and down, up and down. But I think all presses are like that. If you're looking at the ones that are air-powered, the, the uh, pneumatic ones... That'd be probably a good option too, of not having to sit there and pump this thing a thousand times because uh, I got a whole thing here full of different uh, old bearing races and crap to try and put on this to make it work. And I've used, you know, big sockets on that to push out old bearings and whatnot. And um, overall, not bad. You can see where it's kind of rubbed on this though because this, this whole assembly here is kind of bent a little bit. But I have used the crap out of this. I've done a lot of bearings on this. Um, on like Hondas and, and Fords or press and bearings. I've used it for building rear ends a lot. I had a uh, 89 F-150 that the hub was stuck in the rotor to press that off. So welds, um, I give the welds probably like a three out of 10. They're really not all that impressive. A lot of splatter, um, you know, so I mean, I, I wouldn't say the welds are the greatest. But for the money, I mean, you're not really going to get top quality welds for a low shelf price. I do like the fact, too, you can just replace it. This, if this goes bad, you can just buy a new jack for it. It's even got the uh, item number on it for you. So if this ends up leaking, the seal goes bad, you can actually buy a seal kit for it. And um, I, I, in theory, I think you could upgrade the jack to a bigger than 20 ton, like a 26 ton jack on this. I mean, I don't think the whole... Assembly is rated for more than that, but I mean, hell, why not? If you're gonna upgrade it, upgrade to a bigger jack, you know. So, just want to make this little review here. If you're thinking on buying this from the uh, Harbor Freight or I think up in Canada, it's Princess Auto. Not a bad, not a bad tool. And then uh, that's the other item number here for the uh, rest of this is that. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.